Hey guys, it's The Shades here, and along with Lady K here from RBT, and we're doing a two-on-two -two interview today. We've got the very funny and awesome Richard F. Carr and his beautiful <laughs> wife, Ellen Stern. Ellen, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Richard as well? I'm doing great, too. <laughs> I'm awesomely funny. So. <laughs> you guys having a good time at your party? We are having we're a having great time. We're having a blast. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, they yeah, run a good show here. They really do. We're real happy to be asked. I, this is my third time here. This is the first time for Ellen, so we're happy to be here. How are you finding the experience? You know what? They are so organized. Everything is so easy. They're they're just phenomenal. Glad really. To hear that. Uh, how's the reception of my fans? It's oh, they're yeah. they're fabulous. They're fabulous. We just finished a voice panel. It went great. It's good to hear. <laughs> Uh, now, Richard, actually, you uh, recently it was announced that you got to be a part of Joseph Joestar on the latest JoJo's Bizarre yes, Adventures. Yes. Um, what can we expect from you in that series? Uh, a lot of screaming, actually. <laughs> he, the guy never talks; he just screams everything. So it's, uh, but it's, uh, you know what? I've gotten such rave reviews on this thing; it's unbelievable. I, I, uh, I've never done a part, including the Joker and Bato and all these big parts I've done. I've never had such a reaction to a character I've done like this before. So my, my Twitter account is just like exploded with stuff and everyone loves it and we've done three so far and I'm hoping we'll do a lot more. There's a, there's a ton of material that they could do. So uh, he's a great character. I mean, he, 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 it's, a, it's a good fit for me because he's, you know, he's, a, he's a perfect kind of a character that I would do. So, <laughs> so it works out well. Definitely, and JoJo's is a very, very well-known anime franchise. Yeah, so that's going to yeah. definitely be some. Yeah, people love that show. I had no idea when I went in to do it that it, people were going to be this crazy about it. That, that tends to be the case of a lot of uh, anime. You, know, you yeah. never know how you popular series is going to be until it hits. And then you do some, and you think they're going to be incredible, and they just kind of go, eh. You know, I've done a few of those that I that I've worked on, and I thought, wow, this is really an incredible, amazing idea and concept, and and just kind of you know three people see it, so you know you never know. Um, actually, Ellen, uh, I know that you've spoken about uh, strong female characters in live mm -hmm. anime. If you had a chance to voice any female character, who would it be and why? Oh, that is such a hard question. That's such a, a difficult question because I don't know. No, it, it's not you. It's, it's about the fact that I, we're, we're more limited than you are because you watch more anime than we do. So we're limited to the roles that we've done. Um, I've been doing a, a marvelous character. I'm um, Gundam Unicorn. I've been doing Martha Viss Carbine. That is, on, that is actually on my uh, next to watch series. <laughs> and she's really strong. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's the, the villain of the piece. And, um, She's been a lot of fun to do. Uh, I did the series Noen, and she was she was a wonderful, fully dimensional character, and she had a lot of emotional depth. Those are the things that I like when I'm looking for great female characters. I love characters that have great depth. I just did. Um, <coughs> As a matter of fact, it's just been released right now. I think it's already been released. I did uh, an animated feature called Wrinkles, and one of the stars of it was Martin Sheen and Matthew Mundine. And it's about aging. And I play a woman who is aging, and I also play her as a young woman. And the transitions back and forth are um, are wonderful, I and mean, the film has actually received some some wonderful reviews across the board. So, um, we're looking forward to seeing it. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. But though I, I like characters that have emotional depth. I, I think as a uh, anime fan, I prefer characters that are multi-dimensional as opposed to a cookie cut. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But a lot of your female characters that you look at in the world of anime are very stereotypical and, oh, no, that's very true. and, and they're very one-dimensional and uh, they're basically, I hate to say it, but manga was the originator of where anime came from and so when you look to the characters from manga, it, 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 it's, the same, uh, it's the same stream of consciousness and so 
you find a lot of misogyny in the characters. The That's my middle name. <laughs> Richard misogyny at yes, part. It is. It's true. It's true. Yeah, and that brings up my next question, actually. You know, obviously, I'm assuming at least at one point you guys have either worked together or looked at some of each other's works. And we have a company together. Yeah, that we, do, we do a lot of work together, actually. So I have to ask, uh, how often have you guys gotten on each other for something you've done on a, on a particular series? Does that come up a lot? Is it? <laughs> Never. No. Yeah, I don't think so. Do you think it does? You know, when we're working together, he will say to me, you know, I really want this. When I'm working with him, I'll say, you know, I really want this. Sometimes we'll bat heads over stuff, but we have... We have but I'm head. always right. So <laughs> and that's his middle name. He's taking you back to your house. Isn't <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, that's like any husband and wife. We bat heads all the time about yeah. stuff, too. But, but that, that, that keeps for a healthy, honest, and, and truthful uh, relationship. <laughs> and, um, and, and that's the thing that I, I treasure about a relationship, uh, whether we're working Ellen together. Ellen can tell me anything in the world, and I can tell her anything, because she'll kill me. So. <laughs> yeah. Wow, sound familiar? Yeah, so, uh, yeah she tells me anything she wants. If I didn't like to tell her, but I am just getting a sketchbook today. You can relate. <laughs> We've been married 32 years next month. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Yes. Yeah, I'm only 35, so. <laughs> and uh, I, I got married in vitro, so. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't no, sound very uh, appealing to me for some reason. <laughs> As of this last May, we've been together the last 10 years. Oh, congratulations. That's well. wonderful. Yeah. We were high school sweethearts. Nice. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Um, we were too, except we went to different high schools. <laughs> together. If you guys actually had the chance to portray a romantic couple on any particular series, would you? Sure, absolutely. Actually, I wrote a, a series that we're, we're going to be doing. It's, it's a comedy series. And I wrote it for both of us. And um, uh, I, I can't reveal too much about it, of course. Um, I yeah, signed an NDA with a, myself. An on camera thing. <laughs> a lot of fun, actually. It's pretty funny. So we're, we're hoping to do that, at least do a pilot of it very soon. So. Yeah, it sounds like we're taking anime takeover soon. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and you know what? As far as comedy goes, I know you definitely got the chops, and I can tell just by talking with you that you definitely, you know, you definitely got some funny in you as well. I can only imagine how far that's going to go. So my sides are going to be spitting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think you'll enjoy it. It's pretty funny, actually. Yeah, I can. We'll have to look forward to it. You, Thank we'll you. I'll just say one thing about it. It pokes fun at what we do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're about to see this I'm going to love this. I don't know, is that true? <laughs> yes. Okay. Our characters do, yes. All right, anyway, yes. All right, one last question for you guys. And, you know, aside from the thing that we've already talked about here, is there anything else that we can expect from you both as we head towards the future? The future. <laughs> <laughs> we can our expect son, her to have a headache in the future. Our son That's just it. got married, so that was exciting. There, there might be um, little lap cars. <laughs> <laughs> I do not want to be called that. It's, it's too soon. Papa. Uh, I have. Uh, I can Mama. actually finally talk Papa. about that. Yes, thank you. I can finally talk <laughs> about this. Uh, I'm the Joker in a new uh, game called Infinite Crisis, which is an online game, which I do the Joker in again. And there will be some more Batman stuff for me coming up. I'm uh, But first, the word from our sponsor. <laughs> no. Sorry. That's all right. It happens. Brought to you by. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, this is what I storm out of the interview. How <laughs> dare no. oh, you? No, really. Um, so I've got that going on, and we've got a bunch of. Uh, there's a few other. Uh, I just did two iconic characters in the Batman world, and I can't talk about that, unfortunately. There's mm -hmm. another two different characters besides the Joker that I got to play, which was very cool. And uh, I'm in uh, the new Bayonetta that's coming out. Uh, the narrator for that is I reprised my role from before. And uh, as you mentioned, uh, Joe, Joe Star, and, uh, and some other things that are coming out that, uh, that I can't remember because I'm exhausted. But 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say that I've played um, Injustice mm -hmm. and heard your pro with the Joker in that, and if that if that's an indication of what we can expect from Infinite Crisis, I'm probably gonna want to get that game. Right. <laughs> I got the willing to listen to you. Yes, you did a good job. Thank honestly. you, honestly. Thank. Sounds like your good kind of willies. Oh, oh good. The good kind, yeah. Are there a like, good kind of willies? When it comes to the Joker, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, good, thank you. I've, I've gotten a lot of great feedback about that. And uh, I don't know if I'm speaking out of school or not, but there is, uh, there is, it's rumored uh, and pretty substantially that there will be a sequel to that game. So hopefully I'll have a lot of involvement with that as well. We'll probably be keeping our eyes on that, definitely. But uh, Alan, Richard, thank you so much for joining us here. Uh, pleasure thank anytime. You. Very nice seeing you guys. Very nice seeing you. And we stay tuned. Oh, <laughs> and stay tuned for more exclusive yeah. interviews here at Metricon 2014. Until next time, I'm the Shades. I'm Lady K. We'll see you guys next time. Rock on!